Hi friends, I'm back. So today I'm going to teach you a very famous Indian dessert. It's called Roshogulla. So let's make it. For this we need milk, brown sugar, cardamom. That's it. So let's make it now. Take 1 liter of whole milk in a pan and keep it to boil on a low to medium flame. Uh, I used organic cow milk which does not have much fat. If you use buffalo milk, it has too much of fat and makes for a thicker layer of cream floating on top. You have to remove the thick layer of malai or cream before you proceed with the making of chena. Uh, keep on stirring the milk at intervals so that the froth is not formed on top and the base does not get browned or the milk solids get stuck to the bottom. Let's add 1 to 3 tablespoons of lemon juice. Vinegar also can be added instead of lemon juice. Another option is curd. Add 4 to 5 tablespoons of curd or more if required. With yogurt, you don't need to rinse the chena in water later. So here our chena is ready. It's uh, the milk solid. So let's strain the chena now and remove all the moisture from the chena. So the shena has no moisture in it and it's not too dry. Now on a rough surface with the heels of your palm, mash the chena and knead. Keep on collecting the chena from the sides and continue to mash and knead. In between this, uh, we will put some keura water and we will mash it again. So this is the keura water that I'm putting and now let's knead it again. Avoid kneading to an extent where the whole chena becomes greasy. Knead to a smooth ball of chena which should be able to come together without breaking or falling apart. Now pin small portion from the chena and roll them between your palms to a smooth round balls like this. Now we need to cook these roshogullas in a sugar syrup. So let's make it in a large pan. Take 2 cups sugar and 4 cups of water. Keep this pan on stove top and heat the sugar solution. Once this solution comes to a boil then we will put roshogolas in it and we will cook it for 10 minutes. It's boiling now. Let's slit the roshogullas gently into the sugar solution. Once all the roshogullas have been added to the sugar solution, shake the pan. Don't stir it with spoon, just gently shake the pan. So let's open the lid and check. Yes, it's now ready. Our roshogulla is now ready to serve. So let's serve it now. So roshogullas are now ready. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel.